what I think is the most important part of offense. It is the serve-receive offense. Um, in a 25-point game, our goal is to side out 17 points, 16 points, 17 points, so that so, so that we really focus a vast majority of our offensive time in the serve-receive situation because it happens so often and we know that we'll be set. We know what the other team is doing in that situation. So it becomes somewhat easier than normal to try to get a good swing in the serve-receive situation. And if we can get 16 or 17 points in the serve-receive situation in a normal game, then in transition, when we serve, we only have to get eight points, nine points, while we're serving to try to make up the points to get 25. We will do a, a tremendous amount of work in the serve-receive situation, okay? Right now, we don't have our Taylor, our graduate assistant, doing the uh, evaluations of the passing. Okay, but in a normal practice situation, we would have um, our iPad, which we left in our office down at the other part of the campus. Um, we would be doing evaluations of every pass. And so we get a good feel for how the players are passing and, and a rank order of the players that we want to pass the most balls. Okay? Um, the footwork drills that we did at the beginning of practice should translate to this footwork type drill right here. Okay? This should be trying to call the ball as early as they called in that first drill, trying to move their feet as best they can to get to the ball to pass the ball, okay? And so for us, working on players passing the ball, evaluating the passers, evaluating the setters, okay? All very critical things. The way you can adjust the difficulty of this drill, okay? For example, here's my injured player. So she can't set the ball. So right now for her, her Footwork, she can move her feet, but she just can't set the ball from anything but a toss directly to her because of her injury. So for her, she's just moving to catch the ball, okay? But for us, this release, the concept of when they can go, how they get to the net, getting to the net in good position to be able to handle balls, facing a target, those are all very, very critical things. And we'll do this in terms of how we approach the responsibilities in the serve-receive situation. And we take this very seriously in how we train these setters to get through the structure of a serve-receive. In this situation, some of the things that you could do was the coaches can enter ball rather than players. Um, I have to have all my players be able to serve situations all the time. So we, enter, we start this drill almost all the time with players entering balls rather than coaches. But to increase the difficulty like this is a, is a skill that's a little bit more advanced, okay? Um, if coaches want to enter the ball, or if you, if, even if you have the players enter the ball from a shorter situation on the serve, which makes the pass a little bit easier, okay? There's lots of ways to adjust the difficulty of the, of the drill. Um, you'll see what happens next is that Right now, we're just working on the setters releasing and the passing. We'll work, go from the setters releasing to releasing and setting hitters. Hopefully what you saw in that portion of the middles, okay, the middles essentially trying to use the arm swing, okay? The, the hitter's trying to hit the ball, 
particularly in the middle with that fast arm swing where they finish down low.